Good morning. I'm Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60. And here today I'm going to be talking about a rare haul. And I want to announce the winners of my last giveaway and just a little bit of chit chat. I will put a time in above somewhere where I start talking about what I purchased and why I purchased it. But I want to tell you, I absolutely loved reading your comments about all the things that you did not want to live without. And I respect everyone's beliefs and everyone's religion. But I'll tell you, I have a whole lot of uh, believers in, in the comment section and those who didn't comment. I'll tell you one time I did a video, and this was years ago, and somebody asked me if I believed in God. And of course I said yes, without him I would be nothing. And in the comment section, someone said, I really enjoyed your video till you talked about God. I'm out. So there's so many things that people take offense to, and I'm glad that you all don't. Something that was mentioned in several of my comments, people aren't getting notifications when it not just me there were several other people mentioned that weren't getting people weren't getting notified well i think on the 13th of august it's my understanding that youtube quit sending out emails when any anybody puts up a video my normal upload date is sunday mornings at six o'clock central time and if you don't see a video from somebody for a while just go to their channel and you can click on videos and you can see the ones that you've missed. No more email notifications. Well, I hadn't shopped for makeup in a very long time. I can count on my hand how many things I've purchased since the end of last year, and it's been very little. Well, National Lipstick Day got me. It did. And I shopped for you all and I shopped for me. That's what made me feel good. The first email I got that kind of got me excited was from Ulta, and they had a bunch of different lipsticks that you got for free if you placed an order, and I can't remember how much the order was. Maybe it was $50. Well, I had several things, both in my Ulta cart and in my Sephora cart, just waiting to see, you know, uh, when I was going to place an order. I wanted to use some of my Ulta reward dollars. And if possible, to get the most out of your dollars, and it's best to use in denominations of $125. And I knew that there was that much that I wanted to get. I think I'm missing one, but these, there are six lipsticks here. I think three of them are full size. Uh, this is Zoeva, LA Girl, Lipstick Queen, Milani, Urban Decay, and one from Winky, Winky Lux. And these, I have not have not opened any of them. I just knew that they weren't my colors, and I was going to put them in this giveaway today. And yeah, it's going to be a giveaway. And then there was a sample of PYT. I haven't heard of that, but I thought I'd look into that and maybe give that a try. And this Ulta Jelly Gloss, and I love it. And I'm going to put it on later in the video. I have a different lipstick on now, but I love this. So remind me, I'll remind myself to show you this later on in the video. So I used 125 of my reward dollars, and I think I had to pay $7.64, but I went through Ebates, and I got $6.60 from Ebates, and that left me over a little, over a dollar that came out of my pocket. So I was really excited. And the first thing that I have to show you that I bought, I bought two sets of the Eco Tools Daily Defined Eye, and I'll put a picture of them up there. And uh, neither one of those are for me, so now you know there's two winners. I bought the Bare Minerals Gin Nude Palette in Rose, and this had been in my loves and in my favorites in Ulta since it, in Ulta since it came out. I think it was over a year ago. But I just kind of kept passing it up. And I do think we'll travel again. And the reason I bought this is because I thought it would be a really good companion to this other eyeshadow that I take with me when we travel. And this is the, I think it's the Essential Eye from It Cosmetics. But I just really like both of them. And I just thought those colors were beautiful. I prefer more cool tones. 
and this fit the bill. So I was excited, and so I bought one for one of you. So, and nothing that I bought for you has ever been opened, and here it is right here. I have never ordered anything or owned anything that I know of from Morphe, but I've heard so many good things about the continuous spraying mist, and I don't like to spray anything on my face, but I thought I could do this one. And I'll show you right now how this works, and I'm gonna try it. And it feels really good. I don't know if it's gonna mess up my makeup. It does have a scent, but I it's just a fine continuous mist and I wanted to try it and I'm not sorry that I got it and from hard candy I got two of the blush bombs I have one in coral and one in bubble and I'll tell you why I did that I don't wear very many peach colors but I thought what I would do is I would add a little bit of peach to the pink when I wanted to kind of warm something up a bit and I'm doing that right now on my wrist and I, I tell you, I've used this and I really, really like it. I didn't do very well with the proportions, but I've worked with it. And, and what I like about it is I can use it without any makeup on my face and I can put powder over it. And I don't know the last time I used a foundation, a liquid foundation. I have been all over all different types of powder foundation this year. It's just so easy, so quick. It, especially in the summer, but I even used it in the winter. I can think of maybe twice I've put on a liquid foundation. I've got a, most of them in the refrigerator just because I know they'll be a lot, they'll, I know they'll stay good longer if I park them in my refrigerator. So I don't know how the hard candy liquid blushes do over my own liquid foundation, but they do great on bare skin and they do great under powder. And today I'm wearing the bubbly underneath my powder. And something I wanted to tell you, I always try to list what makeup I'm wearing or not wearing below. So if you have, the question I get more than anything is what lipstick color I'm wearing. And I always list that first. And I put like what's on my face. And I'm pretty good about remembering. If you just click on the show more section when you're on a computer, it'll be down toward the middle of the page and I always put on what I have on my face because inevitably somebody will be watching an old video and they'll say what color lipstick do you have on and I'll think I don't know so I click on the video and I look underneath the information and, and I'll find it and also in my favorites cart were two lip pencils from LA Girl this one is in bare and this is in reddish and you know they're they're fine and you know they're good I just can't I just cannot make myself use a lip liner so I'm gonna really try harder and because I've seen I just think they can really make your lips look even prettier I, I don't know if I'll end up I may try them I may not try them if I don't I'll give them to my daughter and all the makeup I bought was cruelty free and this isn't cruelty free this is from philosophy and this is fresh cream warm cashmere and I've used quite a bit of it and I really do like it. And I'll tell you where I heard from this. I heard about this from Lori from the channel All That Beauty with Lori. She hasn't made videos in quite some time, but I'm going to put a link to her channel. So when she gets back making videos, you might want to check her out. She is a sweetheart. I always get the very small bottles because I like to try it out. And then that way, you know, like if Jim wants ideas or my kids wants, want ideas for gifts, uh, I'll kind of have an idea of what I'm interested in and what to stay away from. So that was my ultra reward dollars. Now I gotta talk about my other order. And I ordered from IT Cosmetics on National Lipstick Day. The email I received from them, they were giving away one free Pillow Lips Cream Lipstick in the shade Marvelous. And that's what I have on today. Last November, I bought a duo from QVC and it was called the Pinks. We're going we're gonna to talk about this in a little bit later because I can't wait to show you something I thought was a lot of fun. Well, I had used it up and I had it in my empties. I put this lipstick on at least three hours ago and I have not touched it up. I just really love, I love the cream formula of the Pillow Lips Cream. So I got that free and I, I think maybe with a $40 order because I think I spent $48. 
Well, I wanted to buy something for my daughter and my son's fiance, so I ordered two of these and I got theirs in plum and I'll put them up right here. They're just the three pan eyeshadows and I just really like uh, It Cosmetics eyeshadows. I think they really are nice on my older lids and the young women in my life like them too. So I ordered two of these. You open it up, there's a mirror here and then there's like two double-sided sponges so I always keep them and because you never know when you might use them so I ordered two of those and those were called I think the plums and then I ordered one of my very favorites and I'll show you what mine looks like this is called pretty in smoke and those are the colors there and this is for one of you I have this eyeshadow on today this is one of the few eyeshadows that I have used up and repurchased and I, I purchased this I guess sometime last year and there it is and I have it on today I have this all over my mobile lids this in the crease and this out in the corner but they're just quick and easy they have some shimmer but it's not too much and and I just really like it and they were all on sale and Rakuten which used to be Ebates was 8% so I was really happy to get some lipstick that I love I was also happy that I bought two presents for Christmas for my girls and then I bought something from you. Now this is where I want to have a little bit of fun. When I was on the IT Cosmetics website, and I'm sure you can do it so many other places, you had the ability to try on different shades of lipstick. And I've wanted to do a video on, and I think I have a little bit a long time ago, on trying to find a lipstick that makes you look better that brings out your own natural coloring and I think most of us are drawn to the shades that we like the most and I like pinks I like berries I like plums and I'm, I don't look good at all well you'll see you'll see what I'm talking about the first picture I'm gonna put on the screen and I don't know if it's gonna be side by side or if I'm just gonna put it in front of me is a picture of me that I took just a couple of months ago and I was trying a new lipstick so I had the lipstick on and this isn't one of them but that's me without any makeup and the only thing I have on is mascara and eyeliner in my upper water line and then the lipstick so I had that picture that was already on my desktop so they had a little thing that said add photo so I added the photo and I chose a lipstick and I'm going to show you the first one that I chose the first color that I tried on is wish list and that's probably one of my favorite colors of lipstick it's kind of a warm pink but yet my skin still looks like a decent color and it doesn't dull my face at all and then the second one is marvelous and that's what I have on my lips today and I think they did a really good job putting it on there the next color is vision I think I look absolutely dead I do I don't care for this at all and this is such a fun way if you don't know what colors that you look good in you could do the same thing the next one is fanciful and yeah not one of my favorites and the last one is serene it is just too browny orange for my lips but I thought that was so much fun and I'm sure you can do other things if I learn every almost everything I learn I learn on YouTube so if you don't know how to take a photo of yourself just look it up on YouTube and then after you've done that if your picture is not by your comments you can put that one next to it I had to look up how to do that because when I first started watching YouTube I didn't know how to get a picture from my phone onto YouTube and I, I love seeing your faces I love seeing your symbols but anyway I just thought I'd mention that I just went to the bathroom and put soap and water on at the end of a washcloth to get the lipstick off and that cream formula from the pillow lips it does kind of stain my lips and I've never tried their matte so I don't know if I like matte or not but now I just want to show you the Ulta jelly gloss and it reminds me of a lip gloss I used to have from by Terry when by Terry was cruelty free and I really like it it has a different it, it it looks like Lancome's juicy tube this is kind of rounded and dented in but I love the shade and I love the formula it comes well I can't talk there it is 
and it feels good. It's not sticky. It's thick enough to stay on your lips, but it's not too thick. It doesn't travel in my fine lines, but I was really, really happy that this was in the free set. And if it's a permanent part of the Ulta Beauty brand, I'll put a link to it below and the color because I think it's gorgeous. So the first winner is going to receive the Gen Nude Rose Eyeshadow Palette, a set of the set of brushes, and an It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara, and half of the lip either lipsticks or lip glosses I showed before. I'm just going to divvy them up. And the second, I'm going to have two winners. The second one will receive the brushes, a superhero mascara, the other half of the lipstick, and the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Trio in smoke. So if you want to be in this giveaway, you have to be 18 years old or older. Be subscribed to my channel before this video goes live. It is international. My videos close in three days. And because this is a giveaway, I can't reply to the comments, but go to any video. I don't care how old it is because it'll come up in the line. So I'll be able to reply to you. But in the, this video below, all I want you to do is, if you're interested in the first one with the Gen Nude Rose Palette, just use the word rose in your comment. If you're interested in the It Cosmetics Smoke Trio and brushes and all that, use the word smoke. And if it doesn't matter, uh, just say, use the word smoke and rose, just in the order of your preference. And I want to wish you all good luck. Before I announce the three winners of my most recent giveaway, I do want to mention the Bilch Bars are back and they've been reformulated. If you're interested in Built Bars or want to learn more about them, at the end of this, I'm going to leave as an end screen the video where I talked about them, and that's at the 1010 mark. And I also have a link below that is 10% off. So I'm going to go ahead and share the winners. I have three $50 e-gift cards or PayPal deposits. And the first winner is Cat C. Congratulations, Cat. The second winner is Liz Bradshaw. Congratulations, Liz. And the last winner is Brenda Travis. Congratulations, Brenda. Congratulations to the lucky winners. Make sure you leave a comment below and uh, I'll let you know how to get in touch with me. It is all good. I appreciate you guys so much. You just have no idea. And uh, I will see you in my next video, and you take care. It is just about, and my, and I want to say their names, and my daughter, and the first email that perked up, but I wanted to use some of my ultra, ultra, <laughs> on television. So it showed, it. there was the ability